Welcome to the CQC video training series. This is a spot topic on user interface selection and alignment. In the CQC user interface editor, widgets must be selected before you can either edit their attributes here on the right side. So the one that is currently selected will be filled in in the attribute editor to be manipulated. And you also have to select them if you want to either move them or to align them in some way. So when you select a widget, you can see that there will be selection handles around the corners and edges. And if you select another one, you will see that by clicking on it, you will see that the previous selection is removed and the new one is selected in the same if, if, as we click others. You can select multiples by clicking one and then holding down shift and clicking others. And then they all are selected together. But you see that the attribute editor is empty because you can only actually edit a single selected widget at a time. The template itself can only be selected by itself, so even if we were to hold shift down and click it, it will remove any previous selection and only select the template itself. And there are technical reasons for that, which we won't get into at the moment. Another way that you can select multiple widgets is by a lasso type select. Just click somewhere and drag, and any of the widgets that intersect the lasso area will be selected. If you only want to get those that are fully enclosed, you can hold down Alt while you drag. So in this case, the bottom one is not fully enclosed, so it doesn't get selected. And that's often very convenient. And now let's look at alignment. In order to align widgets, you have to have more than one selected, of course, because they will align relative to each other. And that is done by using the Tools tab here on the right. And there are various buttons here for left, right, top, bottom alignment, and vertical and horizontal centering, and vertical and horizontal spacing. So let's go ahead and select all of these widgets here. I'll select the white, purple, and blue one. And generally what happens is that by default, the first one selected is the one that's aligned to. So if I were to hit left align, the others would come in line with that first one that I selected. If I were to select the purple one first, then white, then blue, then they should align to the purple. And they do. So let's undo that. And there's also the consideration where if you just swipe them, I selected them all at once, so what's the first selection? In this case, it's the one that's the furthest back in what we call the Z order, the one that's behind the others. So if I were to, for instance, layer these over each other, you can see that this one is the one in the back, so it would become the first one. That's not always obvious when you're just looking at them, of course. But if we were to just swipe them and do a left, it would align them also to the white one. Other options, which you can see discussed down here, is that if you hold control while you align them, then it will align either to the top or leftmost one. If you hold control and shift, it will align to the bottom or rightmost one. So since we have them all selected, if I were to do control shift, that should align them to the rightmost one, which is here. And it does. If I wanted to align them to the leftmost one, and let's get this over here so that it's not automatically going to do that. If I were just to swipe these and do control shift, or do control and left align, then it should align to the leftmost one, which is the purple one. And it does. And the same applies to uh, vertical and horizontal uh, centering. So if we were to center while I hold down control, it should center them on the purple. And that does also work. So there's a lot of options there which allow you to get things arranged the way that you would like. And that's an important consideration when you're building complex user interfaces and you want to get things just right. Uh, you don't want to have to mess around a lot and having a lot of options for how you align things really speeds up the process a lot. Another important consideration is how the alignment mechanism interacts with grouping. You can group widgets together so that they're treated as a single thing. For instance, if we were to select all of these, right click and select group, then by clicking on any of them, they automatically all get selected. And since all selected widgets are manipulated together when you drag or when you use the arrow keys to move things around, then that ensures that the members of that group stay relative to each other. And that's extremely convenient when you're trying to piece together separate sections of a screen and you need to move them around in order to get the alignment exactly the way that you would like. And you want to ensure that they all stay relative to each other. Without that grouping mechanism, if you were to miss the selection of a particular one and then drag the rest, they would get out of alignment and you'd have to very tediously get them back together. So this is a very useful mechanism, but it also means that now these are treated as a whole and how does that interact with the alignment scheme as well. So if we were to copy these 
and paste them so that we have two sets here, two groups. You notice that uh, if we do shift select, that mean or shift click, that means that all of the members of the group are added just like an individual member would be added and toggling them back off toggles them all back off as well. So if we were to select both groups and then do top align, you notice that the groups themselves are aligned, not just the individual widgets. So there again, the members of the group stay relative to each other and they maintain their relative positions. But what if you want to get to the individual elements of a group? One way that you can do that is to hold down control and that lets you select an individual member of a group. And now you can go over to the attribute editor and edit it which was something that you cannot really very easily do prior to 5.0. And you can also remember shift, shift adds and control selects from within a group. So shift control, that gets us a member of this other group over here. And now we could move those separately if we wanted to. So very much more convenient than it used to be in terms of getting to individual group members and being able to manipulate them without having to ungroup, manipulate, and then regroup. Also note that the lassoing mechanism is another means by which you can access individual members of a group. So if we were to just lasso these top ones here, we will get those. And the alt mechanism also works so that only those that are fully encapsulated by the uh, selection lasso get selected as well. So that is another way that you can get to those individual members of a group that would otherwise be inaccessible. And we can now move those around. So altogether, there's drastic improvement in terms of the ability to align widgets and to manipulate the members of groups and groups themselves in a convenient way that just didn't exist prior to 5.0 and hopefully everyone will appreciate these significant improvements.